Good morning students. Today we will be studying a very interesting tale called Alice's Adventures written by Louis Carroll. Louis Carroll's tale Alice's Adventures in Wonderland is a carnival mirror reflection of Victorian society and its rigid social conventions. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, widely beloved of British children's book was first published in 1895. With this fantastical tales and riddles, it became one of the most popular works of English language fiction. It was notably Ill illustrated by British artist John Tenniel. The main thing is that of growing up. We fancy the characters as each one of them add humor and dimension to the story. Alice sits on a riverbank on a warm summer day, drowsily reading over her sister's shoulder when she catches sight of a white rabbit in a waistcoat running by her. The white rabbit pulls out a pocket watch. He exclaims that he is late and pops down a rabbit hole. Alice follows the white rabbit down the hole and comes upon a hallway lined with doors. She finds a small door that she opens using a key which she discovers on a nearby table. Through the door, she sees a beautiful garden and Alice begins to cry when she realizes she cannot fit through the door. She finds a bottle marked Drink Me and follows the instructions by drinking the liquid. She soon shrinks down at the right size to enter the door, but cannot enter since she has left the key on the table top above her head. Alice discovers a cake marked Eat Me, which causes her to grow to an inordinately tall size. She is unable to enter the garden. Alice begins to cry again and tears form a pool at her feet. As she cries, Alice shrinks and falls into her own pool of tears. The pool of tears becomes a sea and she, she treads because water oozes out and she meets a mouse. The mouse accompanies Alice to the shore where a number of animals stand gathered on the bank. She regrets crying too much. When she finds a mouse who is swimming coming towards her, he is followed by many other birds and animals that had fallen into the pool and she is mesmerized by the duck, the dodo and the colorful parrot lorry, a baby eagle and other strange creatures. They swim to the shore since they were all wet and cold. Dodo suggested that they should one. He marked the race course. Since no one signaled go at the start of the race, all the animals crowded around Dodo and inquired about the winner of the race. Dodo replied with a smile that everyone had won. They demanded for their share of price. The Dodo pointed towards Alice. Alice put, out, put her hand in her pocket and took out a box of chocolates and she handed them out as prizes. The animals ate the chocolates merrily and this sweet gesture of Alice endeared her towards the other creatures of the land. There are five lessons that we learn from Alice which we can use in our everyday lives. First and most important is to that every risk taken has a hidden reward. And we also realize that we must discover who we are and accept ourselves and also our role in this life and in this world. Another thing is to celebrate the differences and the uniqueness we share with others. And also that we must not live in the past. We should stand up for ourselves. And we, if we change our views and perspectives, then no one can hurt us. Thank you so much.